Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. So I have some unique yarn to show you. It's actually from a company called Unique Yarns. It is some pretty cool yarns. Uh, get ready to be amazed at their cool yarns. Okay, I'll tell you a little bit about what I from um, what I from what I know from the company only because this is the first time I bought from them. Um, uh, one of my uh, fans sent me an email and told me to check them out. Thank you very much. And I decided I would try them out. So I went to their website. Easy to navigate. They don't have tons of yarns, but the yarns they do have are quite unique. I'll show you some of them in, in just a second. So I ordered on uh, July 29th. They shipped on August 4th. Did not give me a tracking number. And then um, today is August 9th and I have it at my door. Came from the UK. I did not know that it was coming from the UK. I assumed that it was from the United States because when I went to their site, it's set up in US dollars. <laughs> so, not that I care. It was just, um, I, I thought that it was uh, unusual for a, a UK site to be set up in US dollars um, right when you go to it. But anyway, that doesn't matter. I found out where it does say it does ship it later at the bottom. It does say it ships from the UK, but that's not important. It is from the UK. So I don't think it didn't take too long to get here from the UK, but yeah, but like I said, I didn't get a tracking number. But so let's open it up and see these unique yarns. The customs form has the cost of each yarn on it. Well. Okay. Gold gold tissue paper. I want to apologize for the way, wait a minute, I gotta apologize for the way my nails look. That's not dirt. I dyed, hand dyed yarn yesterday, it's not the first time, I do it sometimes for fun. I made a video, you guys should check it out. Look at this yarn. The dye, isn't that pretty? I'm not a professional yarn dyer. I don't use chemical dyes, this was all done with food coloring. But, I'm really proud of myself. I love this one, it's really pretty. And I dyed some others, you guys can check out the video, okay? I'll put a link to that below. You can watch me dye it up. I don't sell it. I don't use it. I only do it for fun. And every once in a while, I throw them away and give. I, I throw them in giveaways. That one I'll probably keep though. <laughs> I really like that one. It turned out nice. Okay. Anyways, so that's why my fingernails are black and red from that black, black and red food coloring on that one. Okay. Comes with the card. It says contentment. There's nothing in it. I guess you can use this card for something. Yeah, just a card. With a cat on a yarn ball. Save him. Send him to someone. Okay. Oh, okay. So it says I didn't get it all on this shipment. Some of it didn't come. It says to follow in second shipment. Thank you. Okay. Whoa, those are some tiny balls of yarn. <laughs> okay. 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 So let's see what we got. Uh, we have um, little bitty things here that are coming undone. Sunlight color changing rayon. So I wanted to see how this compared to premieres. Um, and haikus. Um, color changing yarns if you guys have seen those well this isn't really a yarn this is like a tape see that um fourteen dollars for that thing this rayon yarn color when exposed to full sunlight or changes color when it's exposed to full sunlight changing back to its original colors when indoors okay $14 for that. And then I got another one. They're coming undone. Um, yeah, it's like a flat tape uh, feeling yarn. It's, this one's blue. And I don't know what color. Maybe it changes to darker blue. We'll take it outside here in just a second. I'm going to get all the color 
uh, changing yarns that I got here so I can take them outside before it gets dark. I always do my videos late, so, um, so yeah, those are little, what are you doing, Eric? That one's glow in the dark. How do you get to be on a bod video? You gotta be married to me. You, you unique up on it. Unique up on it. Ah ha ha. No, I just came for some scissors, actually. Oh, I'm done. Are with you them. done with those? Can I use them? Sorry for the interruption of Mr. Bob. <laughs> okay, I'll just take these outside and check them out. All right, I'm outside. Let's watch them change up. There's the blue one and the white one. The blue's getting darker. I got the blue. What color is that white changing to? Cream. Here, we hold one of them? <laughs> so the blue is darker, I can tell. The white doesn't appear to be changing. That's weird. Pinkish on the inside I'm thinking that's the reflection of my fingernail. You put your finger because oh, okay, my okay. nails got that red fingernail it polish. Was, it? Maybe. Is it? No, maybe it is. It's not turning. That's yeah. weird. This one turned more blue though. Not a lot more, but oh. Yeah. Okay, I don't think they change well. That's kind of a disappointment for $14 a ball. Crikey, huh? $14? I know. Well, I just clicked right there. <laughs> oh, it took you a second, didn't it? Yes. Look at that. Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay. I don't know why the white didn't change. I'm going to look it up and see what color it was supposed to change to. All right. So those did... I'm looking at what they're supposed to change to. Those did not work at all. This actually white one is supposed to get a purple stripe through it. And this blue one is also supposed to get a dark blue stripe to it and change to a darker blue. It did change to darker blue, but there was no dark blue stripe through it. I don't know what happened. Here's what they're supposed to look like. I'll show you on the internet. Now, they did not change to that. So, yes. I don't know what happened. There was enough sun for them to change. Okay, so that is one I will not buy again. I'll have that. I don't know. Maybe I should email them and ask them what's up with it. Flat ribbon, 100% uh, rayon, hand wash, lay flat, 124 yards in each one of these for $14 each. Oh, so I think the best color change in yarn I've ever seen was made by Haiku. You guys, abracadabra is what it is. Okay. Um, so that really wasn't too unique, actually. <laughs> but they do have some other cool yarns. Let's check them out. That was just kind of a bummer on that one. Um, let's see, we got some glow in the dark. Glow in the dark. That's always fun, isn't it? Okay, so I got glow in the dark tape yarn, $14. Man, this stuff's exp exposed the yarn to light to change the glow in the dark. The yarn will glow brighter and longer depending on the strength of the light. Well, I got some strong lights in here, so here's a pink one. That's the flat tape uh, yarn. It's the same as those. And then this is a glow-in-the-dark wool. I thought that was kind of interesting. I've never seen anything like that before. 100% um, wool, hand wash, lay flat, 65 meters, $14. But it's regular yarn. It's not tape yarn or anything. Feels fine. Like. They don't smell chemically, like a chemical, like premieres smell like chemicals to me, but they don't really smell like anything, actually. Nothing off putting. Okay, let's try the glow in the dark. So I'm going to hold them up to my bright lights. I got up in here for just a second and then we'll turn all the lights off and, and see, see how, see how it works. What do you guys think? Okay, guys, I've held these up here for a while. I got some really, really bright lights in my room. I mean, they're 
I'm holding it under the one of the most bright, the brightest light probably in my room right now. And so we'll see how well they do. I got the wool and the tape yarn that glows in the dark. Okay, I'm going to turn my light off. Shut my laptop. Here we go. There's the wool. Oh, that did not last long at all. And this is the tape one. That just plundered out to nothing. That's a disappointment. That one's slowly fading away too. Oh, man. Let me try that again. Gotta give it a good test. I held it under there for a while off camera. And I know it's not my lights. They're extremely bright. Yeah, that that wool just goes right away. That's sad. I had high hopes for that. That one stays a bit longer, but... Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Disappointment. Okay. So, those were both $14, too. For... This was... Uh, 65... Uh, meters so uh, yeah so about six about 70 yards and this is 124 yards of that tape tape yarn stuff that is I mean I really kind of took a hit at this yarn store um okay hey they got some more yarns let's check them out they might be cool so i wonder if these are in a pile lion brand has a nice glow in the dark yarn that i have that i would recommend it's cheaper more yarn, uh, uh cheaper than that and it's glow is bright and it stays longer okay so this is unique yarns coffee dyed cotton 100 percent cotton 75 meters so about 70 or 82 yards made in the uk acid free eco-friendly from recycled paper okay so just as this coffee dyed coffee dyed was um seven dollars for this for what i say 75 meters so about 82 yards and it looks like it's uh DK sport D or DK it's a DK doesn't really smell like coffee this doesn't smell bad but it smells funny um so that's a coffee dyed it's pretty Okay, let's move on. I didn't get two, three skeins of yarn. I did not get. It says to follow in a second shipment. All right, let's see. Come on, we got to have some more unique yarns up in here. This is, um, what is this? Unique gold and silver. It's pretty. Okay, so this is uh, this is a raffia style yarn, and it's got gold and silver shinies on it. Unlike other pa uh, types of paper yarn that are normally used for structural creations like bags, this yarn is not sturdy but extremely soft making it the perfect fiber to create cushions, amigurumi, scarves. I personally wouldn't wear it for a scarf, but um, it say say it's a DK weight and 208 yards per ball hand wash. Lay flat. I don't know. It just seems kind of papery to me. I don't think I would It's crunchy. Okay. Twelve fifty a ball. I had high hopes for this place. That tiny cake I've 
tiny tiny cake okay i got more though let's see what else we got oh now these are pretty these these could be promising let's look at these these might be promising promising promise they'll be better please let's see these are soft this is soft okay that's nice it's pretty it's soft this is baby alpaca 60 percent alpaca 25 percent merino i can't read the writing very well 15 percent nylon 107 meters i think that's what it says okay so it does feel soft it smells like uh wool it smells like alpaca you know wool and the color uh, that i tell you is called ginger that's the color of it okay so ginger is just a color they have other colors um it is it's it's a roving kind of style you can see there see the way it looks it's just not bad uh, for being alpaca merino um not you know it, it plus it's a bulky weight um this one's not bad i like this one put that over here they had some pretty colors in it and then i thought this one was pretty i wish they would kind of okay this one is called unicorn wool 80 percent wool 20 percent i can't read the writing This is nine seventy five a ball. Nine seventy five a hank. Um, it's a novelty yarn. These are pretty much all novelty yarns, if you ask me. I think it's just a, I think all they have is pretty much novelty yarns, except for maybe this one, um, and maybe some that I have. And I have like two more left in the box. I don't know, but all that glow in the dark stuff. The coffee dyed and all that tape and stuff and whatever all that, that's uv stuff that's all novelty stuff and my uv yarns didn't even work so this is a dk way 80 wool 20 visco um it's got sparkles in it can you see them there um yes i would classify that as a novelty yarn i wouldn't wear it as a scarf it feels uh because of the fiber or the metallics in it are too much for it again mm, no way i actually bought this i thought i could make something for evelyn but i can't I, I could probably make her something maybe a bag or something out of it she would probably like that i don't know um 118 yards hand wash it's just got a, it's just a metallic effect to it. Um, 9.75 did I say? So yeah, it's definitely a bag making thing. Okay. Now we got two more left these were called their mini skein sets um, actually they're mini hanks but um i don't know i don't know about this please they definitely have some unique yarn okay this is called a rainbow mini skein set it is five hanks of yarn there's blue green yellow orange light orange and a dark orange um they feel scarfable i'd wear them as a scarf um it says each skin is 20 grams of pure 100 percent merino wool it's dyed using natural rocks and minerals from the earth. Now that is interesting. Oh, I like that. 
but it is says it's a fingering weight i don't like that so i won't be able to use these um a hundred percent mineral dyed yarn so there's 71 yards of a fingering weight per hank sorry about my dog hand wash lay flat um the it's uh those are kind of neat actually i have to say that the blue is uh uh lapis uh stone that's stuff they used a powder from it i guess the green is green clay um the yellow is made from yellow iron powders from it the orange is made from iron and mag magnesium from italy sourced from italy and this red is made from a reddish brown mineral rock rich in um hematite i don't know so that's neat that they're dyed like that um so okay so but they're cool i mean they feel okay they're scarfable it's neat that they're dyed with mineral dyes i guess but okay so yeah these were 22 50 each okay that's all i got whoa whoa this store was and then i actually got more two, three more things that did not come it says they'll come at a later date um all right so what do i think about this place well it says they work with nature because they use wool it says on some of it was wool um and they use uh ethnically sourced wool um so that that's good and then they dyed here with the minerals which was kind of neat i don't know what they didn't really what they dyed with this made in the uk made in the uk okay so it's kind of a novelty place it's it's kind of a high price novelty st st store um i don't want to say anything bad about it it's not really bad yarn like these dyed from minerals are cool um 2250 i wouldn't buy them again for that but uh this stuff is cool the the ginger uh baby alpaca for 950 i would probably buy that again it's really soft um it's cool looking so you know that's not bad this stuff it would be the um unicorn wool is novelty so it would work good for a bag or maybe amigurumi or something like that i probably wouldn't buy that again um the coffee dyed it's too much money for such a little ball it smells kind of funny um i can dye my own coffee yarn i have done that before but i did want to support a small business but so um i probably wouldn't buy it again but it's it's not it's okay um these are like no raffia that i've ever ever seen before in the fact that they break so easily but they do say that that they're that they're uh not as as strong you know it's like it says you could use it for scarves and stuff i personally think it still feels like a paper yarn and i wouldn't use it as a scarf that's just me um my glow in the dark yarn um this paper the glow in the dark paper yarn which breaks really easy um glowed a little bit longer than the wool the wool i thought was really cool because it feels okay too it just didn't glow for hardly any amount of time at all there's like no glow to it at all and these uv ones didn't do anything outside they didn't even change well this blue got a little darker but it was supposed to have a blue stripe a purple stripe and this white was supposed to have a purple stripe to it, it didn't even change at all so those did not work okay I got a free card though. So, okay, I want to say that I, remember my reviews are only honest. It's not the personal, just any company. So I just try. Some people ask me to try companies out, I, and they want to know my honest opinion. I just give you my honest opinion. I'm not saying anything bad about the company. They have other yarns on there. 
um, that I didn't try that could be super cool. Um, I think it's just a, a novelty yarn company. So if you like unique and novelty yarns, that's the place to go right there. I'm not huge on, I mean, I like some novelty yarns, but I really didn't like too many of these. And so, you know, like I said, some of them didn't even work. So, um, for me, I probably wouldn't go back to that company, but you know, I suggest you could look at it, look at it. Um, there might be some cool yarns that you like, cause like I said, I didn't get them all. So yeah, give them a go. Um, and well, look at it and see if you, what you guys think about maybe some of the yarns I showed you tickled your fancy or whatever, you know, maybe you liked it, but, um, that's really just probably not the type of yarn store that I would buy from again, but that's totally my personal opinion. It doesn't have to be yours. Um, so, um, they shipped fast and everything, um, from, from coming from the UK. So, and you know, their website's easy to navigate and all kinds of stuff. Anyways, I'm going to go check out my yarn dyeing video. Uh, this video probably wasn't very much fun, but Hey, my yarn dyeing video is fun. I love this. At first I didn't, but I'm not a good yarn dyer, but I really like the way this one turned out. I'm going to call it Toucan Sam off the Fruit Loops box. You know him, right? Bye everybody. See you on my next video. Okay. Stay safe.